My name's Tim Somerville, and I'm a violin maker at the String Project in Palatine, Illinois. Typical day for me starts out with getting the shop ready uh, for customers to come in, uh, which involves making sure our, our computer system's up and running correctly. Starting off with uh, any paperwork that's needing to be done. In other words, uh, uh, then I'll work on whatever customer's instruments that are in for repair or bows that need to be rehaired. And then when I have time, I come into my shop and I work on my own instruments. My wife, being a, a violist and violinist, uh, got me interested. Uh, then when, when she opened the shop, that pretty much sealed the deal. I got the bug and wanted to go beyond repairing instruments and also make them. The most recent instrument I've worked on is a violin that I've just nearly complete with the body. And I've started started working on the uh, neck and scroll. I'm at a point where I'll be working on the carving of the head of the scroll. My favorite time in the making process is when is when the instrument starts to react to sounds while I'm working on it. And then yeah, I get to I start feeling like the instrument's coming alive. I don't have some big corporation to answer to. I don't have uh, another layer of bosses to answer to. I have uh, just my wife and I uh, discussing where we want to go with the shop or where we don't want to go and, and uh, going from there. It's easy to be distracted uh, with the other things that, have, that are going on in the shop work that comes in for a customer that needs to be done, uh, supervising my people have working in the, uh, the workshop for maintaining rental instruments and such. So it's, it's easy to get to the end of the day and realize that I had intended to work on one of my own instruments and never was able to touch a tool.